How's it going? This is Shalom. And uh, right now I wanted to talk a bit about black millennials. Um, being one myself, I have spent a great deal of time uh, focusing on black millennials specifically um, when it comes to consumers. And the reason why was because I realized that a lot of businesses and a lot of companies were not marketing to me you know, as a black millennial or they weren't reaching me the way I kind of enjoyed it. And that's not the same for, for other, you know, sectors or other groups. And so I spent a lot of years building um, DNA Creative Labs, which is my company, my marketing company, to focus on black millennials. And what I discovered was that you can reach them digitally and you can reach them through experiences. Those are the strongest methods uh, or marketing channels that uh, are most effective in reaching millennials, multicultural millennials, and even more specifically, black millennials, because over the last few years, that's been the group that I have studied and, you know, curated experiences around the most. And based on my data, you know, black millennial women happen to be um, th the group that has kind of risen to the top um, from all of my data. So um, black millennials are very unique. Um, they spend a lot of money. And so that is obviously of interest to all marketers or all businesses. So you have businesses. I've, I've talked to several people in, in different industries about targeting this group over the last few years. And, you know, um, I've gotten brushed off to the side quite a bit by these brands and understandably so because a lot of things in marketing change really fast and oftentimes when I do discuss these things they're often things that are still coming or still growing and these brands just don't get it yet you know um, now that's changing we can see that with a lot of the um, sales and buyouts that have happened, whether it's with, you know, uh, Walker and company, the Bevel brands, Form Beauty or Sundial brands and all they have. And you have brands like Blavity who, you know, get more funding and have expanded. So the, the attention to this subgroup is very high. And so I thought I'd speak more about it. Uh, based on my experience and based on the, the research and things that we've done for this group of people. Uh, so when it comes to digital, you know, um, it goes without saying, we spend a lot of time with social media, uh, viewing numbers are really high, um, and the engagement is pretty high when it comes to digital space. Uh, so that that's a, a key area to focus on you know, the digital, as everybody does. However, there are several channels of marketing. You know, you can't ignore print marketing. You can't ignore experiential marketing. You can't ignore influencer marketing. You know, those are still very important. Influencer marketing, you know, um, is important. It's a very big term today, you know. Um, however, one of the biggest things I want to point out in this video is that People fail to understand that you need to integrate all these forms of marketing in order to be successful or most successful. You know, you have to integrate these experiential or these experiences for your community, for the people interested in your brand. Um, and at those experiences, have some print marketing that they could take along as, you know, souvenirs or et cetera, et cetera. And, and that creates real strong loyalty with you know, the, the consumers that you're targeting. And so integrating digital with the experiential, with the print, with the influencer, I mean, you get a real strong campaign with that. You get a real strong uh, return on investment using those methods. And so at DNA Creative Labs, I, I, we definitely try to integrate all forms of marketing or, or the most effective, the most essential uh, with experiential marketing, 
Um, like I've stated in other videos, we focus on pop-ups, uh, concerts, and festivals. That's what we focus on. And at those events, we make sure that there are, you know, print assets that they can take away and take along. And, you know, it, it building a community around your brand is very important. So you can utilize all these different marketing channels to do that. And with black millennials, like I said, you know, pop-ups, concerts, and festivals seem to be uh, where we've chosen to focus on. And we bring a unique, you know, thing to the table, which is at each of our events, more than just being a pop-up or more than just being a concert or a festival, we integrate some value added aspects to it. Uh, value add is important for millennials, for multicultural millennials. Um, going to an event or going to something where they feel they get some value, some education and or network, and then the opportunity to also have a good time. You know, that that's kind of the theory we ran on and what we do at each one of our events. So next year, we definitely have some great things in the works, some great things coming um, for black and Hispanic millennials, you know, um, in, in different diasporas in Atlanta, New York, the DMV area, California, Texas, and then in West Africa. So those are definitely some great things to look forward to with DNA Creative Labs. And with uh, millennials, it is a great time to try and understand them better, to target them as best as possible. And we are capable of doing that because we have spent several or multiple years specifically focused on this subgroup. And so for some of you companies that we've already spoken to in the past, maybe a year or two ago, and it didn't make sense to you at the time, maybe now it makes a little bit more sense uh, as you see that some of your other traditional marketing campaigns didn't give you as good of a return. And if you are a brand that is solely or most of your audience has to do with, you know, black and Hispanic millennials between 21 to 34 or 35, then, you know, your, your ad dollars have to be a lot more targeted now. You know, whether you're using Facebook ads or Instagram ads or whatever you're using, you find that you're able to target people, you know, in, in very precise ways. And that's essentially what we've done. So hopefully it makes more sense to you now to, you know, um, spend your money where you'll get the most return on investment, not just putting out blanket ads. Let's say you put an ad on TV. Well, you put an ad on TV they can't really tell you that, hey, you reached this many people within this age group um, in this specific area, and they're inter they're already interested in your product. The, 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 the breakdowns and the details aren't quite as much there, you know. Um, so it makes more sense with our types of pop-ups, concerts or festivals, because we know exactly who comes to them, we know exactly their age group, exactly their interests. And so the return on investments with, with advertising are usually much better. And to make it even better, we, we actually give you a media value report, which breaks down your ad spending and quantifies exactly what your return is on that ad spending at the end of the year. So a media value report will break down the digital and social media that uh, in actual dollar numbers, uh, what it quantifies to for you at the end of the year. And with our 2019 campaigns, they are compounding on each other. So all our brands are sticking with us for an entire year because it's a full year campaign. We don't just do like a month campaign or anything like that. We, we do these compounding um, series of experiences mixed in and integrated with your digital, with your print, with your influencer, 
to give you the best bang for your buck. So again, this is Shalom and I'm from DNA Creative Labs. If you have any questions, make sure to email me and subscribe to the channel and we'll have more info as we go along. All right. Thank you very much.